Today I am making matching tie-dye sweatsuits for me and my family. I am very excited about this. I have been wanting to do this video for probably a month, but I've been waiting for the white sweatpants and sweatshirts to arrive because apparently everyone had the same idea as me. Tie-dye sweatsuits are really popular right now. Everyone is wearing them and everyone looks so cute. And so I just want to fit in and be a cool mom. Not a regular mom, I want to be a cool mom. So today we're going to be making uh, tie-dye sweatsuits together. And also, I know you're all really jealous of my awesome shirt. No, this is not merch. I wish that it was. <laughs> this is a shirt that a fan gave me at one of my shows on my last tour. Hopefully, on my next tour, I will receive more nifty shirts like this if I ever tour again. Will anybody ever tour again? I know, right? Anyway, because I'm a cool hit mom and not a regular mom, I'm drinking a whipped coffee. Before we jump into this video, I just wanna say, I hope you're all staying safe during this quarantine and healthy, and I wanna give a big shout out and thank you to all of the people who are working hard to keep us safe in the hospitals, doctors, uh, grocery store workers, delivery people, anyone who's working their butts off right now to keep us all fed and healthy. Thank you so, so, so much for your service. I really, really appreciate it. Anyway, let's get going into this video and tie-dye some clothes. These are sweatpants and they are large because it was the only thing available. Available. This is a medium sweatshirt, so I guess this one will be for me. Large sweatshirt. So this, unless do you would you rather have medium look? I mean, I should have the bigger one than you, since I'm a bigger person, I believe. So you think I'm? <laughs> have you seen that TikTok? It's so funny. It's there's this TikTok of this girl who says, "So you think I'm?" And it's like so viral and people are using it like when the subway door is open and no one moves. <laughs> you say that. Like there's a lot of really funny ones. I've had too much coffee. You have two pair of large sweatpants because it's the only size they had. And then for little Mr. Flynn, who is all over my shirt, we have this little sweatshirt and we have these little sweat pants. So the thing I'm most excited about is the photo shoot that's going to happen at the end of this. What? Sorry, yeah, sorry love, you're gonna be in a photo shoot. Well, now you're finding out. So those are the sweatpants. Here is the tie-dyes that I bought. These are, this again, was what was available because everything was gone. Y'all snatched up everything because tie-dyeing is really popular right now. I don't know what colors, we, we should all be matching. Well, here's the thing is that tie-dye is always really bright and I want it to be kind of like a pastel-y. Tried to do this last time on my vlogs. If you follow my vlogs, I'm vlogging every single day. A month or two ago, I tie-dyed a sweatsuit and I wanted it to be like light, pastel colors and it ended up just looking like just period stained outfit like it was not good it's because tie-dye usually is really bright and vibrant so i feel like if i take out a lot of the dye it'll be like not as vibrant if it's more water you know the ratio i like this like teal color this is purple but it's pretty dark are these the colors you like love or should i do teal and pink and then purple will might maybe get made when these kind of hit or is that too many colors oh the decisions what colors do you want to wear on your body? Black. Would you want black? Okay, Mr. Emo. <laughs> well, I'm not doing black tie-dye. I'm not dying. That is not entertaining to just dye these white clothes black. I want to do the blue and pink because I'm like purple. Like I didn't know if you wanted pink because you're a boy and boys can't wear pink. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do the blue and pink? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> So I'm gonna dump these two out. I'm gonna split up the dye of these two into these two so that it's more diluted when I add water. I don't know. Who knew that tie-dye clothes would be so stressful? I'm gonna go do this, I'll be right back. Okay, so now we have the two pinks and the two blues. I split the dye up between two so that it's a little bit more diluted. The technique that I'm wanting, which is like the cloudy, like blotchy, I just see people like scrunch it like this. And last time I did it, it just kept unscrunching itself. So I saw a girl put it all in a box and like just tie-dye it on top of a box. Like it's, so it's all scrunched inside a box. I don't have a box big enough for all this, but I do have my son's toy car. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it in here. So I made this toy car for my son. He painted it. So he calls cars Dardar. -dar. So this is his cardboard Dardar. -dar. And hopefully you won't mind if I borrow it. I'm gonna scrunch the clothes up in this box and then I'm gonna tie-dye. So here we go. Okay, here we go. What's inside? Scrunch it up. Oh gosh! So he already 
somehow stained this. He already, <laughs> I don't know how my son was here for three seconds and managed to get a hold of the dye, put it on his fingers, and then touch the crotch of his own pants. That's having a one-year-old. And now I guess we just go for it. I'm scared, what if this doesn't work? I'm afraid I'm not gonna have enough dye, to be honest. It's just kind of like not, I feel like it needs to be wet or something. You can tell the different kinds of material, like whatever these pants are, is not the same as the rest. These are all blending in. This one's just kind of staying. Okay, that's one bottle. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna do blue. <laughs> Why am I scared? See how, oh my God, do you see the difference between these and these? Like these are all blending and looking tight-eyed and this one's like not blending. Oh. It's like a different brand, it's a different type of material. Okay, that's the blues done. It's looking cool, but I'm, I'm just nervous because I know I don't have enough dye to get the back sides of this. It's like only getting the top. I don't know what to do, I'm stressed. Right now we're adding water to the one that's like all condensed and like, or the it's one that's, better. yeah, the water's helping it spread a little bit. Okay, that helped a little bit. So there is a lot of purple going on, which is kind of fun. All right, time to flip these bad boys over and do the other side. Time for take two. It up about the ones like no thank you. I know. See this stupid one? These pants, whatever cheap material it is, does not want to soak it in, so I have to spray it with extra water. <laughs> you guys, I'm smelling cat pee, which makes me think they peed on these clothes while they were just sitting waiting for me to dye them. So that's unfortunate. <laughs> I think. We're good. I'm gonna try to let it soak for like 10 minutes. I'm gonna look online right now and see how long you should let it soak if you want it to be pastel, and then I'm gonna rinse it out, wash them, and then it's time for a fashion show. One hour later. Okay, it's been about an hour, and I just really don't want it to soak too much, so I'm gonna rinse it out. This might be a huge mistake, but it's what I'm gonna do. Oh my gosh, you know what this angle is? Put some more. What's that? Have you seen that? Charlie, I don't know where it started, but I saw James Charles and Charlie do it. They go, don't, don't be shy, put some more. Don't be shy, put some more. I don't even know what it's from. You haven't seen that? Mm -hmm. Anyway. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna rinse these out in cold water. I am very nervous that it's just gonna bleed and ruin the whole thing. But here's my box of clothes. So you have to do this until it rinses clear water. Oh my god. Oh, this is going to take forever. See how much white there is? That's what I was afraid of. I don't know that I put it on enough tie-dye on it. I feel like it's mostly gonna just be white shirt with like a few spots. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. Look at my hair, this is so MySpace. <laughs> the angle and the way my hair is sitting here and I look like a MySpace profile picture. Oh, for those of you who are um, born in the 2000s, MySpace was like the first, <laughs> the first like social media place. And it was everything. And if you did not put your best friends in the top eight, there were, that was big drama. Like the top eight was the drama of the century. What was your profile song on MySpace? Do you remember? Some punk song. Really? I was trying to be like cool. Mine was This Must Be The Place by Talking Heads. This is a workout, my arms are sore. I'm gonna be here for 17 hours. Okay, I'll be back in like eight hours when I'm done rinsing these. Okay guys, it's many hours later. We have rinsed out the tie-dye. Flynn has had a nap. We washed the clothes. I haven't seen them undone. I've only seen them folded. Your hair is wild. Living for it. Can I have a kiss? Thank you. They're very light, which is what I wanted. I'm so excited! It worked. So they're like very light and like cotton candy looking. I'm like, I'm very excited about this. Okay, so let's open them up. Flynn, you wanna see? Okay, so here's the first pair of sweatpants. Dun, 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 dun. They're, these are very light. 
I think these are the ones that like had the hard time soaking up the color. I think these are the, yeah, because you can tell they didn't soak it up very much, but I love them. So fun, so fresh, so cute. So that's the first pair of pants. The second pair of pants, see how it's a little bit more vibrant, kind of soaked it up a little bit more. Here's the other pair. They're so fun, I'm so excited. They're like just kind of splotchy, like cotton candy realness. This is the large, so this is Eric's. Cool. This one is mine. Again, just a couple little splotches. This is the back. So I kind of feel like these are nice because there's not too much color on them. So if we wanted to, we could tie dye again on top because there's barely anything on these. All right, now Flynn's. Look at his little pants. Look at this. This is good. His got a good amount. I feel like our sweaters didn't get very much on top. You yeah. like it? You like it? That was a happy scream. Do you like it? What do you think? Yeah, it's a dar dar. Yeah. That almost landed on my toe. <gasps> Time for a fashion show. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're about to put on the clothes to do the fashion show, and Eric goes, Hold on, I need to go do something. <laughs> if I'm gonna do a tie-dye matching family photo shoot, I have to go do something. And he left for a little bit and he came back downstairs with a mustache. <laughs> he has a mustache. Oh my god. I like it. I think you look good. Two months. You're gonna have a mustache for two months? I guess I'm married to a man with a mustache now. Are we gonna do a reveal or do I? Okay, I have to, we have to put on the clothes and then there's the reveal. Be right back. What are you doing? I'm doing a savage dance. Get into it. And then they do a thing I can't do. Yeah, I feel they do lots of butt stuff. They do. Like I'm disappointed there's not more. I'm like confused where all the tie-dye went because it's mostly just white. I like it, that's what you want Yeah, it's like, I just want like a couple more sp splotches, you know? But I am happy with the color. I feel like using half the amount of dye um, really made it more faded. And then also I only let it soak for like an hour or two. And then we rinsed it and washed it immediately. When you Normally when you tie-dye, you let it soak for 24 hours. So. I am happy with the color. I wanted a pastel. I'm happy. What do you guys think? I feel like a cool mom, not a regular mom. But now I'm matching my husband and my son. Like we have matching outfits, which I think actually makes me the opposite of cool mom. I'm pretty sure that makes me a loser mom, but like I'm living for it. So since I'm confident and I'm happy with it, I think that makes me ultimately a cool mom again because like who cares if everyone else thinks it's lame because I think it's cool and all that matters if you want to be cool is your own self-confidence. Anyway, <laughs> this is it. Did you guys like this video? If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you think I should tie dye it more or leave it. Should I add more color? Do you like it like this? I feel like I really wanna do more, but tell me if I should just leave it alone and let it be. I love you guys, I will see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe to my vlog channel where I'm uploading videos every single day, daily vlogs of my daily life with my family during this wild, crazy quarantine. Love you guys, I'll see you next time, bye!